everybody, welcome to another episode of Mazda Motors and today talking about 3D printing. So my exhaust was like dangling down so I decided to 3D print an exhaust hanger. Ooh, look at this. It's kind of a weird kind of uh, soft and uh, flexible-ish, flexible adjacent material. I mean it's, it's kind of hard. The uh, best way to explain it, I don't know, like a roller blade? Uh, wheel you know it's kind of like rubbery and it's hard to put this in as a hanger it might be a pain maybe if i uh put a blowtorch to it soften up the material a little bit it might actually work but nevertheless this is not the issue i 3d printed this prematurely um because i'll just show you i'll, I'll just show you so me thinking that i just needed a couple Hangers. Well, I got one hanger there, and I got the other hanger right there. They seem to be okay. They're not too rotted out. I mean, they're not really rotted out at all, actually. But that's not the issue here. The issue is I have. Hmm, that might be my issue there. I got one that's broken. And if you can see this one right here, that one is also not even in there. So today, I'm going to attempt my welding skills try to weld these up now this right here seems to be very thin material so um let's just hope i just don't puncture more holes into this ow i mean worst case scenario i have an excuse to buy another exhaust i mean this one's a stock one not pretty but huh Anyways, so let's get that going. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because I really, I really don't feel like messing up right now. Maybe I'll just zip tie it up if I have to, but no, I'm going to actually try. All right, so right now, I'm just taking a wire brush right now. Okay, flashlight's not cooperating. Took a wire brush, I'm cleaning this out. Taking a wire brush, cleaning this up as best as I can just so I can get some good bondage on these welds that I'm doing. I'm gonna try to line these up as best as I can. And uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. Now let me just get my uh, welder all connected and squared away and uh, I'm just gonna tap this one. I feel like this one might be the easiest one to do. I think I'm just gonna tack weld this real quick just so I can have it in place. And then the other one should be a little bit easier. Now I do also realize that I am directly under my fuel tank. Yeah, so uh, let's... Let's try not to blow up. Don't, I don't feel like blowing up today. It'd be smart of me if I just took this down and welded, but nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. I've seen people do this all the time. It's fine. All right, so right now I got a, the, the ground clamp right here on the hanger. And uh, yeah, I got it at 60 amps right now, mostly because I'm scared that I'll just blow a nice, lovely hole through this, through this muffler. Uh, I don't want to do that. So, decided to try the 60 amp and uh, I'll work my way up with that. Let's not die. Oh, I can't get a good angle. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. All I only really know is that this needs to stick. There we go. Did it stick? It stuck. Nice. That was amazing i'm very proud with that one all right now let's do the next one that one might be a little tricky actually all right that one's just tacked in let's see if we can finish the deal oh that one came out i thought i did good all right there boys and girls that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Very smoky in there. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Yo. Anyways, um, yeah. So the weld, complete dog shit. Um, but it'll do. It will do. They're not the prettiest of things, but all due considered, you know, it's gonna get the job done. I almost died, yeah, right there. Poked a nice little hole to the heat shield, to the, you know, gas tank. But luckily I didn't die, I'm still here. Didn't blow up yet, but yeah. She just looks like she's holding up. Let me take out the jack, and oh, and she fits, or she sits, holding up just nice, exactly what I wanted. Maybe I just need a new exhaust. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all I got for this one. Wait a minute. All right, guys, um, that's all I got for you today. I know it wasn't exciting. I was really hoping uh, the 3D printer would come in handy. Uh, the moral of the story is, before you build something, always check you actually need to build it. Yeah. 
that uh, took forever to make. Um, it took like maybe a day. I know like in retrospect it didn't really, really didn't take too long, but I had to like baby it because the filament I was using, uh, it's a huge pain in the ass, but it worked. Did I need it? No. Is there other things I could possibly make? Maybe. I've been like scavenging the internet for like car parts. The most I could find is like a uh, shift knob. I mean, unless you guys want to see me make a knob, let me know. I'll 3D print the knob. I don't know. And then I was trying to like make my own 3D renderings and try to make my own parts. And holy shit, that's hard. I have no idea. You have to like use shapes and shit. I can't. I can't. That's too hard for me. I did find a, a program where you do like 3D scans. I'm gonna play around with that. Maybe I can use like some old parts, make them into new parts, or take some hundreds of pictures of my friend's parts and uh, that's not horrible. Get me? I'm just gonna take a bunch of pictures and hopefully I can make a 3D rendering with that and hopefully make something out of it. I mean, that's the thought process. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys next time.